Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a WWE Week in Review. Yes. Um, the Raw and SmackDown after Backlash. The Road to Money in the Bank. Uh, now you're doing a little stretch there. I guess so. I think I think they coined those phrases earlier in the year for a reason. Yeah, I guess that's true. That doesn't just doesn't sound right. Whatever. Using it in other places. I guess so. Anyway. Well, it's, it, I guess it's part of the... Uh, bigger pay-per-views of the year since it's you know co-branded now well money in the bank you mean yes well yeah it's it's i think they said it's now part of the big five yeah which is funny because that's almost half of the pay-per-views now yeah (laughs) yeah um anyway but but yeah raw raw happened yeah um it was a bad show i I fell asleep during the whole third hour pretty much that's your own fault um not really you can blame wwe for the night before well i guess that's true (laughs) Um, but it only lasted a half hour or less so it would have been fun yeah i mean i did see the main event um and then i rewatched the rollins and mojo mojo thing yeah it wasn't bad no no no, it wasn't bad uh but my takeaway from this is considering we got all the lower mid card talent from smackdown onto raw this just felt like an extended SmackDown. Like if SmackDown had three hours, this is what it would been would have been like. Yeah, that's fair. And now I'm going. Hmm. I remember when I said I wish SmackDown was longer. I don't know if I really wish that anymore. I I don't think I was ever in the <clears throat> in the in the camp of saying that a longer SmackDown would be better. No, because it's they just... would they would misutilize the time. <clears throat> it's true. So it's not even necessarily that. Like yes, they don't use the time right now. They would just mm. do it worse. If they had more time, I think. I guess that's fair. Uh, but yeah, this was a, uh, a good stepping stone in establishing the Money in the Bank scene. Yeah, because the <sighs> Money in the Bank qualifying matches were all good. So, mm-hmm. And that was your focal point for the show. Yeah, I, I missed because the last <clears throat> few years, Money in the Bank's been, okay, these are the people who are going to be in the match. Right. And that right. was it. Yeah. Um, so I like that they went back to the qualifying thing, which well, they haven't really done. But... Didn't Money in the Bank like fall in a weird spot where it was like the first week in June or something like that, and the May pay per view was later? I don't remember. It was in a weird spot. Last like, year? I don't know if it was last year. Maybe it was the year before. No, I don't think that was the case either. <clears throat> All right, because it was in June both times. I think. Yeah, was... maybe it was the May pay per view that was weird. Yeah, pay, I remember there was payback, a weird spot. Payback and backlash last year were strange. <clears throat> maybe that was it. Because one of them was like April thirtieth, which was like three weeks after um wrestlemania Mania, yeah and then i think payback um and then backlash was like two weeks mm-hmm. after that because they wanted to have time between money in the bank and backlash i guess that makes sense yeah <clears throat> um all right so i was just getting confused yeah no 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 it was it was not money in the bank okay. money in the bank they've actually been doing good builds yeah. but it was smackdown brand only last year yeah, so. which, which didn't help i no. like the fact that's co-branded now it makes a lot more sense and we'll have uh eight competitors in each match well, yeah, that's not unheard of. The reason no, why no. it was it was small <clears throat> last year was because they didn't have anybody else. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the the show opens with Angle coming out, mm-hmm. and so there will be two Money in the Bank qualifying triple threats. Before we get into that, Kurt said we are unlike any other form of entertainment. We run fifty two weeks a year, and we do it for all of you. Yes. Which means that they understand that they laid a goose egg the night before, and we're like. You know, we're kind of human here. This happens. We do a show every week. This yeah, is going to happen. And, uh, you know, I'm okay with them taking off for a little while. I'm okay with an off season. Um, Yeah. It, it probably <clears throat> wouldn't be bad for the the, the wrestlers themselves. Right. We'd take um, off December or something like that. Yeah, that would make the most sense. Right. Or have, like... Have Survivor Series end it, and then all of a sudden, you know, Yeah, have January. it, like, two weeks before the Royal Rumble. Right. Or something like that. Because yeah. technically, the Royal Rumble is the start of the road to WrestleMania. So it's not like something needs to build at Wrestle- at the Rumble. Nah. So. Nope. Although I don't think they would pick at that time. Because it's too close to WrestleMania. It'd probably, probably be at, like right after SummerSlam. Yeah, September. Which would make more sense. That's true, too. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's hopefully a path they uh, look down. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But it would, it would be nice. Yeah. But anyway, go yeah. on. So um, he announces the matches. One's a women's, which is going to be Ember Moon, Sasha Banks, and um, Ruby, right? Ruby, right? Yes. 
again. And then there would be Roman Reigns versus Finn Balor versus... Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn. Yeah. There we go. That one. The weird <laughs> one. Yeah. Yeah. They're kind of just thrown together. Yeah. Um, and then Braun comes out mm-hmm. and then says something about when he was a kid, um, people wouldn't let him in. The, uh, his friends wouldn't <laughs> the let him house. in the treehouse. So what he decided to do was, and then Kurt cut, cut him off and said, yo, you knocked down the treehouse. It's like, no, I knocked down the whole tree. That wall to be inside and then knock down the tree. Yeah. So you fans know. really appreciated that. They did. Weird. Nah, yeah. not it really. Funny. It's it Braun says something. Yes, he pretty well, much everyone loves and, it. And you know, committing acts of violence. Yeah, fans it's, love that. It's true. Hell, Kevin Owens, you know, loves getting those shoulder tackles. It is hilarious. Yeah, he sells them very well. <laughs> um, so Braun then says that he thinks he deserves mm-hmm. a, a shot at Money in the Bank yep. or to be in the match. Right. And then Kevin Owens comes out and says, oh, yeah. "Whoa, whoa, whoa." If anybody's deserving of a shot at money in the money in the bank, it's me. Yeah, because Braun wasn't the legal man, mm-hmm. or the, yeah, well, Bobby wasn't the legal man the night before, mm-hmm. so the the decision should be reversed and he won the match. <laughs> right, and and Braun needs to go into timeout. Oh yeah, he won. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh man, should be shoved in a corner, and put yep. in timeout. So then, obviously, we know what was going to happen next. Yep. Angle makes a match between the two of them. The winner and goes the, on. Yeah. Yep. Goes on to be in the Money in the Bank match. Yeah. And um, uh, that match was right up next. It's happening now. Yes. Um, you know, Owens did what he could do. He, uh, he went flying. Yes, he did. Yeah. No, nah, but he put up a good fight. Absolutely. It's it's one very, of, what? I said one of the better singles matches for Braun. Yeah, because he usually <clears throat> doesn't really get a whole lot of, uh, I guess, I don't know, like kickback. Yeah. In terms of, like, people actually holding their own. Mm -hmm. Uh, Owens did his very uh, strategic taking his time and picking his spots and stuff. Um, But it was a a good match. It was a good way to start the show. Um, Like you said, with the shoulder tackles, he went flying. I'm so glad they kept that around, and especially considering how well Kevin sells them. Oh, yeah. Because he's fantastic. He is probably one of the best wrestlers on on. In the WWE right now. Oh, absolutely. We've been saying it for a while. No one really yeah. really can and, match up to his promo skills right. and his selling and his in-ring. <clears throat> Not even necessarily his work, but just his in-ring ang- antics. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Because when yeah. he's in tag matches and stuff, he yells at like people who aren't <laughs> in the Hell, match. Hell, even and, when uh, Jericho is coming in the Greatest Royal Rumble. What are you doing? Why is he here? He shouldn't be here. Um, but you brought up uh, a funny stat before we were recording that yeah kevin owens has only won one match right yeah in 2018 one match between tv pay-per-views and house shows that's incredible <laughs> Which, yeah it's nuts <clears throat> but he doesn't really need to win he's not really there to no. be well, a dominant well, guy let's be honest the f- good first portion of 2018 he was in a feud with shane mcmahon where nobody was winning there it's true that's <laughs> definitely true um oh man but yeah Braun will be now entered in the Money in the Bank match. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, let's see. Up I'm next, gonna... we have Mike Rome interviewing Roman Reigns, asking him about the triple threat match. So I heard a rumor that Vince, I guess, didn't want Roman to go out to the ring to do a promo and rather just do it backstage because of, I guess, the crowd from the night before, considering they were still in you know the general area. So I don't know. They were in what? Oh yeah, they were in the they Coliseum. Were in rock. Yeah, they were in the Rock yeah. on Sunday, and then the Coliseum <laughs> on Monday. It, it is, but he gets booed no matter what. It's Why true. Does it matter where he is. Well, yeah, we'll talk about that during the main event. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, he says that again. He's the uncrowned champion because mm-hmm. he should have beat Brock. Blah blah blah. Um, and then he says that he's gonna take back the Universal Title after he wins Money in the Bank. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this was kind of you know poorly written promo. For Roman, yeah, kind of the same old, same old. Pretty much, yeah. Just, it's, it's a lot of repeat. Yeah, yeah. We're not even going to explore other options. We're just gonna try the same thing that doesn't work. We like beating dead horses. That's it. Uh, that is it. Up next, we have a pair of phone promos. Yeah, it was people just saying they want to be a part of Money in the Bank. Yeah. It was what Bailey and, and the and Fashion the Police. Yes, which were a tag team. Yeah, and there are rumors going around that there could be a third Money in the Bank match, a uh, tag team one, which, which is absolutely ridiculous a little absurd um 
Like, how many teams would they put in this? Three from each show, maybe? That might be a too many. many people. Yeah. I was going to say maybe four. Four. Yeah. four teams total, mm. which sucks. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it going to be? The Bar, The New Day, um, and then what are you gonna have, The Revival. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, the, them and The Revival, maybe. Yeah. Because at that point, who do you add else from Raw? Yeah. You're not going to add Heath Slater and Rhino. You're Ooh. not going to add The Fashion Police. Mm-mm. You're probably not going to add The oh, Ascension. Did the, Ascent, the Ascension did one, they too, did right? Too. Later on yeah. in the night, or was it here? No, they did it later on. Later on? Oh, okay. I know there was another um, set of them. And then you could add um, The Usos or um, who was the other team? Oh, The Club mm. technically can all be part of it. Right. Because if they have a tag team title match, someone can't it's true. be yeah. in the in Yeah, the yeah, yeah that's match. true. So unless they have like xavier woods or oh no because next week on it's smackdown a qualifying match. yeah there's a qualifying match between the new day and the bar and yeah. then if someone wins one of them is going to be in the men's Men, yeah unless they change something around by that or they could just be whoever that person is just won't be in the tag yeah. team one yeah. doesn't matter no it uh, does not so uh let's see up yeah, next yeah. we have backstage yeah gold cool. dust is talking angle yeah i guess he wanted to be in the money in the bank match. he's he was quoting movies and asking for yep. title shots and stuff yeah. but and then uh jinder comes over and he's complaining about what being not in the money in the bank match right i should have a yeah. money in the bank yeah. match qualifying and then angle says you couldn't even beat the guy you called mini me last week and yep. then so he's got another match with uh chad gable tonight yeah mm-hmm which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. No. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Match was better than last week's. Yeah, that's true. Or two weeks ago, whenever it was. Yeah. Um, up next, we have Titus Worldwide and No Way Jose against Baron Corbin and The Revival. Yeah, I mean, this was, there was kind of a feud between Corbin and No Way Jose. I guess it's a stretch. But... Yeah. Well, I think, I honestly expect that Elias to be on Corbin's team. And yeah. not be The Revival. The revival. Just be another random person. Mm-hmm um but whatever yeah so like you keep on saying obviously jose is with Titus worldwide now Um, (laughs) well we don't know for sure yeah but it's pretty good so i'm watching this match and i'm thinking you know there's really only one person with uh with a finisher that's really kind of stand out right now so i'm like so corbin's obviously gonna this is like almost as soon as the match started so obviously corbin's gonna pin somebody yep and I was right. Yeah. He uh, ended up hitting Apollo Crews, I think, with... Uh... No, no, no. He hit it on uh, No Jose? Way Jose. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's right, because Jose was fighting Don't... one of the revival... Yeah, they, he hit him with the punch, right? And then Corbin hit, set up the uh, yeah. end of days. So, um, so yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> There's really eh. nothing to gain from this. No, no, especially for Corbin, who, you know... Like, what are they gonna? They had to knock him down and build him back up. Uh, th- he'll probably be in the match. It's I possible. Be well, yeah, it wouldn't surprise because me because you, you can't. You gotta have other matches on the card, mm-hmm. so you don't want to deplete the card by putting right like the bigger names in the match. Yeah. So I I still don't think Roman's gonna be in it. Um, Seth obviously isn't gonna be in it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the mid card titles will probably be defended. Yeah, I would assume. So you gotta find someone for that. Yeah. But we still have time, so it's true. We mm-hmm. still have over a month. It's true. So, and then we have the uh, women's triple threat match for the uh, Money in the Bank qualifier mm-hmm. with uh, Ember Moon versus Ruby Riot versus Sasha Banks. This very well could be one of the strangest paced triple threat matches I've ever seen. Yeah, because it... it's somewhat. I, I don't remember who it was. I think it was. Um, I think it was Ember got like knocked out immediately oh you're right right yeah so immediately so for a large stretch of the match it was just sasha and ruby Mm -hmm. and then sasha got knocked out so it was just ember Ember and and ruby Ruby. yeah and the riot squad would get involved and then bailey came out and then uh i think her and sasha kind of gave each other a nod right i guess i I, I probably i think i missed that yeah i was too busy trying to write down stuff Mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden i hear Ember's on the top rope. Yeah. It was a good finish to the match. Oh, it's cool. I, like that. Yeah. I, I, I love the Eclipse. It's great. Yeah, because... So, uh, but, no. I was going to say, Sasha was trying or kind of waiting to try to put 
the ruby and hitting yeah. her with the backstab. That, that was kind of a, a tough thing to time. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because she's like holding her like she's ready to do the backstab, mm-hmm. like by her shoulders. And at this time, at this point, Ember's jumping off the top rope, hits, um, hits Ruby with the eclipse, and Sasha technically, I guess, hit gets hit too. Right, I, I guess that's it was what just, they're going yeah, for. Yeah, the re- recoil or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But um, Sasha rolls out of the ring. Th- yeah, and then Ember Moon picked up the win, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but, but they actually did the right thing and kept the camera angle on the hard camera because they always have. You know, jumping, get, yeah, yeah, and they always end up getting a bad angle on yeah, things. At least trying, recently, it seems like it's gotten worse. Yeah, they're trying to get, like, a, like a cinematic mm-hmm. angle, but, you know, sometimes it just makes more sense to there get was, the... Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that on SmackDown. There was a one move where you saw it from both angles, and I was like, wow, that looked really good from that angle. It looked really terrible on that angle. Yeah. It was the Charlotte and Peyton match. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So... But yeah, um, Ember was going on to the Money in the Bank match. Yes. It was between her and Sasha. Yeah. Um, but... But, I mean, Ruby's getting good looks, you know? I mean... No, no, Ruby's doing yeah. well. I just... I didn't see her being there yet. In comparison to the other two. Yeah, I guess that's fair. If this was, like, Liv Morgan or mm. Sarah Logan, there's oh, a 0% yeah, no, yeah. chance either right, of them. Right. But, but I guess, yes, when you go from lowest to highest yeah i guess ruby would fit the yeah and i think ember's stock is technically the potential's higher than sasha's mm-hmm. right now well yeah especially considering the way she's been booked there's kind of you kind of starting to lose uh yeah. interest in things she's doing just yeah. because especially considering you've had zero title defenses on the main roster yeah i think she's lost it every single time she's tried to defend yep. it mm-hmm. which yeah. is crazy yes <laughs> yes, um, yes so uh let's see yeah, I guess Ember got interviewed, right, backstage yeah, by, by Charlie. Uh, Charlie. Yeah, she basically said that she was, you know, going in or she was going for an underdog victory because she, I guess, is the underdog in Yeah, the match. she considers herself right. the underdog because of uh, being the noob. Yeah, which makes no sense because she's yeah. been wrestling longer than... Actually, no, uh, Sasha and, I think, Ruby both were on the indies first. Yeah. Well, and Sasha not as long, but... Because Sasha's I'm... a lot younger than the other two are, I think. Not sure not sure but yet. either way yep so uh so yeah mm-hmm. up next we have a very awkward uh, uh i guess segment i mean yeah this was a look at i guess bobby lashley's life or something like that. i don't well, know what they were going for here the video package that they played prior to the interview mm-hmm. was then look at this guy he used to be around now yeah. he's back <laughs> let's tell you some things about him that aren't relevant to yeah. why he's back um they talked about his MMA career, mm-hmm. um, and they pushed him as if he was like a like an up and comer. Right. Yeah, because he, he won the ECW real- title and then main evented Mania, and he was with the. That didn't happen. I, I know, but that's what they said. Yeah. Yeah. So, that title win was probably was during the most the least bought pay per view, um, I think, since like the mid nineties. Was that the December? December to December. December. Yeah. It was. Uh, <laughs> Because that was the Hell in a Cell or Elimination Chamber match that mm-hmm. everyone wanted CM Punk to win. Yeah. So it was like the worst, like... I gotcha. One of the worst rated pay-per-views. And, you Sounds- know, a lot of people didn't really care about Lashley because he... It wasn't very interesting, so... Fair enough. I guess they were trying to change or make spin in a more positive light, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um... But yeah, it was basically a story about his sisters and it was very how they awkward. treated him terribly as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> he was getting bullied as a kid by his older yeah. sisters, basically. But then he ended the video by saying he loved them. And yeah. That, um, very weird. Yeah, it was a little weird. I mean, I get they want to kind of at least give some backstory to people that are unfamiliar with Lashley. But That's true. this is an odd way to do it. I mean, I don't uh, know if... I mean, you could have just done a little network special on him and... No, it would have made more sense to putting it on TV. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. they can even have made it like a 10-minute YouTube video. Yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. Something, something like that. Whatever. Whatever is right, because I'm sure they have no idea what they're planning on doing with Lashley, so well, they're just throwing filler in there. I think originally they wanted to have him against Lesnar without the title, mm-hmm. and that obviously can't happen now. <laughs> so, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, up yep. next, we have Owens and Zayn in the locker room. Yep. Zane is crying conspiracy Mm because everyone's out to get them. Yep. Because I guess that's kind of his gimmick Mm -hmm. now. Paranoid. Yeah. And now it's all up to him because Kevin lost his qualifying match. Yep. And then he wanted to know if Kevin 
has his back, and Kevin says, You yeah. slapped me. <laughs> he just ends up saying, yeah, and then Sammy goes, don't you mean yup? No, yeah. Yeah, so we got some same old. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit of the same old, same old. You know, who knows? Yep, probably yep. won't go anywhere, but probably not considering the way they did um, the Sasha and Bailey thing. Yeah. Um. So up next we have Ginger against uh, Chad Gable. Mm-hmm. This was a better match than I think last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, um. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Ginger was pretty much in control for both matches, but this one actually went his way, and he got. Kind of a victory that he definitely needed. Well, he's, I'm, he's well, been getting beat yeah, up. Yeah, going from much. former champion to uh, pretty much straight jobber after Mania. Right? Didn't he drop the title then? No, he dropped it. Oh, no, it no. He, at, yeah. what was it? Not Fastlane. Uh, no, it was Fastlane because it was smacked up every Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. He lost to Randy Orton. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, he no. lost to Bobby Roode. Yeah. No, Jin- Jinder, Jinder won it at WrestleMania. Yeah, he yeah. pinned Rusev. That's yes, why that's we right. were we then, expected Rusev to pin that's, Jinder. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then a couple weeks later, he lost Look, it to Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, in his first title why defense, right? Why did I right? think I went back that far? I don't know. Whatever. What, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah he, he lost uh, that match. Matches, yeah. Um, but the, yeah. That match, the rematch. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Angle said that he hasn't won a match since he came to Raw. That's, that's right, what he right. said. Yes, yes. All right. So, so now he needed all this together. win. It made sense, especially for what happens later on in the night. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, he he actually was featured well on this show. He had what two backstage segments, a match, and then an appearance. So. Yeah. Well, the the nice thing is they really are steering him in the right direction because right. the crowd already hates him. So yeah. They make him do things that make that are intended to make him get hated. <laughs> Didn't really work that well, but hey. Well, in all fairness, <laughs> that that later thing doesn't really count. Oh, it counts. Yeah, whatever. it counts. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And this is when we get Alexa Bliss and the Ascension doing their promos for Money in the Bank. Yes. Yeah. Which apparently Alexa Bliss isn't injured, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> I was reading conflicting reports. So. Well, it's funny because the WWE did post. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't like they. It was a rumor. Mm-hmm. It was like them. But it could have been a work injury. You know? I guess, but why would they dispute it right away? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Um, up next, we have uh, Ryder in the back talking to Angle. This was a little awkward. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, Zack Ryder's asking for a shot in mm-hmm. the Money in the Bank match. Which I believe he wrestled Mike Canellis on the main event show. Oh. So, they, well, like when we went to the Long Island show last year and they had Tony Nice out because he's a long island guy yeah, so it makes sense zach Ryder open the crowd you yeah. know so um angle like thinks about it i guess mm-hmm. and then jinder Gin- comes over and it says <laughs> that i see i won my match now put me in a qual in the qualifying well, match he's and a, make it a fatal yeah four-way. fatal four right right and, uh, and then, angle <laughs> he goes woo 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 that's a no or something like that yeah, it was odd yeah they didn't even answer zach Ryder. no zach Ryder still and sitting zach there in his just office. laughing and then zach puts his hand out for a fist bump and kurt puts his hand up for a high five and he's oh fist bump gotcha yeah oh uh, yeah kurt angle is definitely a dad <laughs> he's he's a character that's for sure yep um so up next we have Heath Slater and Rhino versus Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler. Yep, and that's all you needed to write. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we I, all know the finish. Here. I wanna say it was uh Slater who took the pin. Probably. It was a nice little standoff between him and Drew. Yeah. They looked like they were old friends who <laughs> are now enemies basically. Mm-hmm. Which is probably how Drew looks at everybody. That's such true. Yeah. <laughs> He wants to hurt everybody. Yeah, and he is more than capable of it. It's true. Yep. So, but yeah. Then we had, uh, for the third week in a row, we got Elias versus Bobby Roode. Uh-huh. The match that nobody asked for again. Yep, 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 yep. But finally, in the end, Bobby Roode has been, is victorious. Yeah, he can breathe, too. <laughs> he uh, hit in the chest this time. No. Um... I think I'm starting to fall asleep in this match. Yeah, it. Yeah, not a whole lot went on. You no, know, it's it's right, right after a pay per view. Right, and, and all I'm like the only thing that was relevant with a qualifying match is everything else was kind of just thrown together. Yeah, and when you're setting up a match that's going to happen in a month, mm-hmm. you know, you have all that time to catch oh, up. Oh, it's anyway. true. Yeah. 
So, Absolutely. Uh, but, yeah, he went over with the glorious DDT. Yes. Not a surprise here. And then he was interviewed what, by Renee after the match. Uh, it might have been Charlie. She yeah. went to the ring. Sure. And he basically just says that he wants an opportunity at a qualifying match. Yep. So he wants to qualify for the qualifying match. <laughs> Um, uh-huh. Up next, we have Seth Rollins coming out. Mm-hmm. Says he wants to be the opposite of the Miz, and he wants to be a fighting champion. Yeah, he wants so. to be what the Miz thinks he is. Yes. So he um, he oh, uh, I guess sets an open challenge, mm-hmm. and who? Well, during d- while they're waiting to find out who, they keep on chanting or the crowd chants, "We want Ryder." Mm. And then Bojo <laughs> ends up coming out, and then they continue to chant, "We it. want Ryder." Yeah. And uh, he basically said, oh, what a way for me to debut on Raw. And then he ends up losing. In all <laughs> fairness, Mojo actually sounded pretty confident. Oh, no, he, yeah, definitely walking down to the ring and some, what did yeah. he say, it's going to be known as uh, Monday Night Rawley. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was, it was a pretty good match. Mojo looked good. Um, so he's really, he's very underrated. Granted, he's not showcased much. But. Uh, he's got a very weird style in the ring, and I yeah. think it... He, he wrestles like a football player. Yeah. So, there's nothing wrong with that. No, 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 I know. It's but, different. Yeah. It's aggressive. It's exciting. Well, I think it's hard to have an opponent that's going to be able to make a... You know, it's you true. look good in a match of this type. Uh, yeah, it would need to be, like, either a really small guy or a really, like, agile guy. So, which is why Seth is a good opponent. It's true. He's mm-hmm. both. Well, yeah. he's not that small, but he's no, not agile. really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Mojo ends up getting hit with the stomp. Mm-hmm. No surprise. No. And uh, f- uh, guess, Seth retains. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be a maybe not weekly thing, but it, it probably happened certainly for a while between here and Money in the Bank until they establish an, an okay. actual yeah. challenger, because that's what happened with. Um, who did it with the U.S. title? Seen it when he... Did no, 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 no. I mean recently on SmackDown. Maybe AJ? it was AJ. Yeah. And then it, he ended up feuding with... Who did he feud with? It wasn't when Owen. It was with... Is it the Owens? No, because I feel like it happened more... I, then again, uh, AJ just had the WWE title for a yeah. while now. Uh, maybe it was Owens. Yeah, I don't and know. That's how that whole thing started. Let's not remember that feud. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it wasn't great. Yeah. Um, up next, we have Balor doing a phone promo. Uh, he says that the reason why he's smiling so late, uh, so much lately, is because he's excited for an opportunity at the Money in the Bank match. Yeah. Um, which is not true because he just was smiling a lot lately because mm-hmm. that's his thing now. Even after he lost his good brothers. Yeah, but you know, whatever. They're with AJ now, and they always did more with. They did more with them and him and AJ in WWE. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, um, and then we have Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel versus Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. Mm-hmm. Um, before the match, the I, I was gonna say the Mistarage, but it's not. That's no, not unfortunately, anymore. Dallas and Axel did a little promo saying that they won't be supporting actors anymore, <laughs> um, and then they end up losing uh you don't say yeah the deleters of worlds i think that's what they're called yeah i think um, that's what they're going they hit like a double sto mm-hmm. I didn't see the match yeah. couldn't tell you no i just I, that's like the only way i can really describe what mm-hmm. they did because they called it a modified sister abigail mm-hmm. but that's technically just an sto but they both did it they they were on either side oh okay of axel i gotcha so and then they fell backwards with him going forward hmm. so Interesting. it was technically a mo- modified sister abigail but a sister abigail is kind of just close yeah. to an sto i gotcha so i'll have to, I'll have to watch it. it it was very strange but yeah i think they're going with the sister abigail thing which makes no sense because yeah because they keep trying different variations of a finisher yeah because they got to find something that works yeah um and then we have natalia and corbin both mm-hmm. doing money in the bank phone promos nothing groundbreaking here no not really and then we move on to the main event yeah the triple threat for the qualifier for the men's money in the bank match yes finn balor yeah. Sami Zayn, and roman reigns mm-hmm. so would they take out roman in the crowd right a little bit didn't they fight out in yeah. the crowd mm-hmm. where the uh i guess the stanchions are for the uh where the hockey yeah, is. for the yeah. uh, the stands or what? Not the yeah. stands, but like the 
like the outside of the, mm-hmm. the rink. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, they, they dumped him f- over there, right, and something like that. And yeah, then... I think Finn hit a coup de gras on Zane in the on like the outside. Yeah. Like in the stands. <laughs> Yeah. So there's just some fighting out there. Mm-hmm. Ash comes back into the ring. I think yeah. Roman's going for a spear on Zane. Yeah, because he came out of nowhere, right? I think, Roman? Yeah. 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 Um, he goes for a spear sitting in the corner. This is after, like, I think a couple of Superman punches and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and then all of a sudden, he gets attacked from behind, mm-hmm. and it's Jinder Mahal. And the crowd cheers. Yeah. <laughs> So, it's because no one wants Roman to win. All right, all right, I got it, I got it. We're yeah. going to put him up against the most hated guy in the company. Yeah, well, that's what they did with Sheamus when they had him beat They had uh, him beat Sheamus for mm-hmm. the title. Oh, yeah. That was, um, that was a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, when Sheamus cashed in money in the bank. Yeah. And then he won it back for him. That's mm-hmm. the reason why they did it. Yeah, when he almost died on all that confetti. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> right, he went for the bro kick, and it's like, oh, God, here we go. Um... But yeah, so Roman's taken out, and it's Zayn and Balor. Balor does his sequence, hits the coup de gras, and he's in the Money in the Bank match. Yep. So so I guess him and Seth, they're, that's completely done, which I guess it kind of makes sense. It's fine. It sucks because the two of them were worked they very well together. Matches, yeah. But at the same time, it hopefully will lead maybe to Finn winning Money in the Bank. Yeah. That'd be an okay fit for him. Mm-hmm. Um, but... We shall see. We still got weeks and weeks to go. Oh see. yeah, and there's also you got to get through Braun, mm. which is a big thing. That's true. <laughs> that is true. All right, so uh, let's move on to SmackDown. To SmackDown. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought SmackDown was pretty good. Um, it was, I guess, a lot of stuff in a little time. It know? was wrestle heavy. Yeah, it doesn't and, happen very often. No, and it's the wrestling. It should be the wrestling show. So it should be. It should be. And it definitely showcased yeah. that they have the ability to do yeah, so. Yeah, and granted, still a lot going on with people not being showcased on TV. Mm-hmm. So it's it's eventually that we're going to run into a problem at some point where, you know, like uh, I think what the Bludgeon Brothers had a cameo. That was about it. Yeah. And then there was no tag team matches on the show, right? Uh, no. Yeah. And I then so. the Usos weren't there. Um, right. Club would, wasn't there. That's not a surprise, though. Yeah, but they never were on on Raw either. That's true. Um, and who else wasn't there? Shelt Benjamin wasn't there. No, he did a pro- phone promo. I know. So. It wasn't there. Yeah, but he still... I guess so. Well, then, if, by the same... Mm-hmm. The same, you could say the same with the Bludgeon Brothers. Right. Because they did a... Yeah, 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 that's true. I but, guess they had all their action figures there, yeah, so... It's true. <laughs> um, so, SmackDown opens, Paige comes out. She does. Kind of does the same thing that Kurt Angle mm-hmm. did the night before. She did say that Backlash was a huge success. Yeah, so she was lying. Lying through her teeth. Yeah. Um, but she says that she wants the best of SmackDown mm-hmm. to be representing the Money in the Bank match for both the men and the women. Yep. Um, then I believe she announced some of the matches. No, I don't think she. Uh, maybe the ones. I know that they did in a commercial for I, SmackDown on yeah, Raw. Yeah, I didn't think they did, and she did announce it because I think she just said starting up next. And the, yeah. for some reason, I automatically knew Jeff Hardy was coming out. I don't know why. It's yeah, it's just... weird because I I think there was a commercial during Raw that said some of the matches. Mm-hmm. I don't think this is no, this said. wasn't no, but so. I just felt like he. It makes sense for him to open the show, except for the fact that. It's weird having the United States champion going for the money in the bank. Yeah. Yeah. That's but true. Either way. Well, Owens was the IC champion? Or the US, maybe he was the U.S. champion last year. When, yeah, had to be U.S. champion last mm. year. Because he was like yeah, the last. Yeah, because him and AJ were, and they took a little break to yeah. do the money in the bank stuff. Yeah. That's right. So, um, um, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have Jeff versus The Miz. Um, yeah, I mean, they're really starting to build up The Miz as a competent wrestler, and, you know, I think uh, I know why. What, do you think they're going to have him turn face and nope. cheat? Nope. He's oh. going to win the money in the bank? Yep. It's possible. Uh, have him win and cash in on... All right, here you go. You have Daniel Bryan win the title at SummerSlam or somewhere down the line and have the Miz const- No. Hope it'll be on... Roman? No, SmackDown. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the Duh. winner of the match goes I... back to their brand and yeah, that's I who they... Yeah. I, I don't know why I thought he I had to go sure. for the Universal no. title. I'm like, that's stupid. Have him win the... T- and then could you imagine the Miz just, you know... Oh, yeah. Cash in yeah, and things like that. that. Oh, it would, that. It, it would be... 
It would be fantastic. No, you want to hear something funny? Hmm. I was thinking of potential uh, main events for mm-hmm. WrestleMania, or at least like big matches for WrestleMania, and this for the world title was definitely Miz one of versus them. Daniel Bryan. Absolutely. Yeah, that would be a good match. Absolutely. So. <sighs> But yeah, they let this match go for twenty minutes or so. Yeah, it was something, almost something to it that. It was almost, I think, eight thirty when yeah. the match was over. And much like Miz's match on Sunday at Backlash, he was uh, a lot of uh, reversal heavy and able to, you know, counter everything. It was yeah. it, it was a good match. It was it was really enjoyable for a TV match, honestly. Yeah, yeah the um, the Miz really really stepping up his game. Yeah, especially with no one outside in his corner. So I mean, like I said. Uh, He's got so many you know, accomplishments in the WWE, and it's mostly due to uh, being a sneaky, cheating heel. Yeah. And uh, I guess it's only fair to uh, build him up as a competent competitor. Yeah, but do the opposite of what they did when he was uh, during his first right. Um, uh, I money guess the, champion. Yeah, because yeah, they did show that right. The ca- his cash in. Of the yeah, money in the bank. Uh, Randy Orton. Yeah, and they also showed the, the face of the little girl who was pissed off that he won. <laughs> That's always funny. That was so good. Um, so yeah, Miz uh, Miz ends up actually winning this yeah. match. I don't think we said that yet. Yeah, no, because Jeff hit a twist of fate and then a swanton bomb. Yeah. And as I guess the ref was going for a two, uh, the Miz kind of just turned to Jeff and rolled him up, and that was that. And it was just, it was very surprising. Yeah. Because once he hit the swanton bomb, he's like, all right, it's over. Yeah, Jeff's gonna go. Yeah. Because I was thinking, I'm like, the Miz has to win this match, yeah. right? And then I'm like, oh, okay, I guess not. And then that happened, so it's a nice, pleasant yeah. surprise. Well, yeah, very big surprise. Yeah. Um, he still needs to get rid of the headband, though. <laughs> I I like his attire. He's re- he's got very good attire, in my opinion. I liked his old attire. The better. the red one is a little too much mm. with, with the headband and everything. Yeah. That's not wrong. Like the black one that he used yeah, to wear. Yeah, I like that one. That one, yeah, that was that good. One was one. good. Yeah. Um, either way, it's I, true. It's it's good. Yeah, fair enough um so up next we have a locker room segment Ooh. <laughs> so it just opens with seamus sho- f- like taking fistfuls of lucky charms and shoving them in his mouth uh, apparently that's what he does to make himself feel better because mm-hmm. he's upset because he lost to uh, xavier woods last yeah. week um cesaro tries to cheer him up yeah and he's like well if it was me out there i would have won and he's like oh yeah you think you can do better than me you can face him tonight yep and then I guess Cesaro went to open his bag, and uh, there was pancakes in there. Filled and, with yes. pancakes. So Seamus is laughing at this point. Then he goes to open his own bag up, and he's got pancakes in there as pancakes well. Pancakes everywhere. And then when they both pick up their bags, and you just saw hundreds of pancakes on the floor. Yep. Like, oh, that, so wasteful. That poor soul who had to cook all those just yeah. to watch him get dumped on the floor. So wasteful. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, yep. up next we have Renee Young trying to interview Shinsuke Nakamura. They, she goes to his locker room in the back. He opens the door, and uh, she asks if he's done with AJ, mm-hmm. and he responds with, no, no speak English. English. Shinsuke, you lying sack of shit. We know you can speak English. Yeah, pretty much. Um, um, he's I, like, oh, I must I have forgot. forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just goes, AJ is nuts, and so am I. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it would be fantastic if they bring in, like, a translator or something like that, just, like, to completely troll Shinsuke. Just be like, like Renee brings in somebody that speaks oh, only oh, Japanese. Oh, oh, okay. Like, gosh, he, he's going to she's gonna translate for you. Well, they have Funaki at all the papers. Oh, yeah, it's true. So, <laughs> I'm sure they have his number. As or he, he just talks, shows up. says, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Which I heard, I think it was Shane McMahon that did the indeed voice. Yes. Sir. Yeah. It was on that was, Cult of Holocad, I no, think. No, it was... It was uh called? yes yeah 100 it things was 100 things you probably didn't yeah. know that was, a good it was all very dumb facts but some of them are pretty hey, funny it's fine yeah it's fine it's fine um but yeah apparently they are not finished nope uh, also I, I forgot to mention this page had said they were going to hear from both shinsuke and asia uh, despite right. the fact that neither of them are able to compete not after cl- their match on yes. sunday yes. she also took credit for the the brutalness of the match because she should have known that was going to happen or something like Duh. that. Um, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, up next, we have Carmella doing a phone promo. Mm-hmm. She's She was very excited that she beat Charlotte. <laughs> she repeated herself multiple times. Mm-hmm. And then she says she can't wait to go to England next week. And there will be a royal celebration. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> oh, yeah. yeah, those crowds are always so good, too. The UK crowds. Yeah, but they're also, like, very, like, oh, loud. Yeah. So if they don't like something, it's mm. going to be extra bad. So they'll be taped next week, then, right? Most likely, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, when they like tape a... them during the day, right? Like, here, it would yeah. be, yeah. So... Uh, let's so see. that's fine. Last last time we were in the UK, uh, AJ won the title from Jinder. It's true. But yeah. Was that during? Oh, that was televised. Yeah. Yeah. And it then was the first time that had ever happened. The tag I titles, I think, changed on Raw the night before. That was right. It was right oh, before yeah, Survivor was, Series. Yeah, because yeah. that's when uh, the they Shield invaded. lost. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Most of the bar. Got mm-hmm. it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Up next, we have uh, Ty Dillinger and Naomi doing Money in the Bank phone promos. Who? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then we have Charlotte versus Peyton Royce. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know. yeah, they cut a promo before the match, Peyton and Billy. Well, they always they did do. their, yeah, usual thing. They like to make fun of people. Mm-hmm. Charlotte gets a, a kick out of them, though. She's always laughing in the ring. I so. don't think she's supposed to do that. Probably she's not. probably just breaking character. Yeah, yeah. That, that's fine. Well, yeah, it's pretty it funny. They do, they do a very good job. Yeah, because it, there is, is, it's not really... Bullying per se, it's, it's just, just stupid. Yeah, you know they're being over the top, yeah, childish exactly. stuff. Yeah. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah, um, yeah, they gave this match some time too. Yeah, which, which is a little really surprising. Yeah, um, Charlotte ends up winning with the figure eight. Mm-hmm. Not a big surprise. This no. is a qualifying match for Money in the Bank. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is going to be in this Money in the Bank match. Yep, her third Money in the Bank match. <laughs> <laughs> two that she wrestled in the same week yep yeah so it's just yep. i that <laughs> the fact that they did that really <sighs> so dumb because d- during like when it happened it wasn't that big of a deal no and then they made it out to be a bigger deal well it was also the backlash i think on twitter too right? yeah but yeah. the it just they completely killed it because they had one pay-per-view in two matches <laughs> So now it just sounds dumb because the next year, right. when only six of them did the match in the first place, there's and only like two of them are actually going to be in the match again because it's probably gonna be Charlotte and Becky. That's yeah. it. Um, so those two are the only ones who are gonna be in three, but everyone else can only be in their Dude. first. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. So because it was Tamina, mm-hmm. it was uh, Becky, Charlotte, Carmella. Carmella can't be in it. Right. Uh, Natalia probably won't be in it. Most likely, no. So it's just gonna be those two, and yeah. everybody else is gonna be in there first. Yeah. So that is true. Funny. That um, is true. What else we got? Oh, uh, Daniel Bryan gets interviewed backstage. Um, uh, I guess you know he's gonna win the contract, basically. Yeah. Money well, in the bank he said something about uh, they asked him how he was after his beatdown from uh, oh from Big, Big Cass, Cass after the right right after he the said match. he'll fight through any injury mm-hmm. to. To get back on top. Yep. Um, and then he started you know, doing his training or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, an odd place to interview. They had like a spiral staircase right there. And I was like, who has that? Oh, the Na- oh no, they weren't. In, uh, where were they? They were in Nassau. No, no, on SmackDown. Oh, SmackDown, uh, they were in uh, Baltimore. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. right, right. Um, uh, up next, we have uh, Shelton Benjamin and Asuka doing mm-hmm. the Money in the Bank phone promos. So, the uh, Shelton Benjamin one, they didn't have words on the screen, but Asuka, they did. Well, Asuka's more colorful, so they... I guess that's true. Or they actually like Asuka. I guess. Uh, I don't think they're particularly happy with Shelton Benjamin. Hmm. Not, not that for anything that they did. I think they're not very happy with the fact that they... Have him, but nothing to do with him. Yeah, I guess that's true. So, well, I mean, he was scheduled to come back when the brand split first happened, and then and he, he was, was injured, injured, and then they were like, "Oh yeah, we told this guy he can come back." Well, ah, crap. We got nothing. Pretty much. Pretty oh, much. Fun fact: mm. we we didn't mention this, but I, it didn't really matter too much. After the Jinder Mahal victory on Raw, mm. he attacked Gable. Oh, yes, he did. And I, I figured thought, Jason Jordan was I coming I thought back. that was going to happen. Yes, because they said he was ready to return. Yeah, so I, I figured that might happen. Mm-hmm. It did not, So I because I, I forgot that I was thinking that. Yeah, because well, a lot of places online had said that he was, he was going ready. to return. Yeah. yeah, so he'll probably just come back next week and be yeah, in a qualifying so, match without so earning likely. it. Yeah. And then Jinder's <laughs> going to be mad because how come he gets it and I don't? Yeah whatever yeah um so up next we have xavier woods versus cesaro yeah watching woods the last two weeks i, I know he's severely underrated but he's, he's very good in the ring uh-huh 
Well, it's because he's kind of outshined by Big E and Kofi. Because mm-hmm. technically speaking, they've been, well, they've both been around longer. Mm-hmm. And Big E was such a big name in NXT when he was there. Because I think he was a former NXT champion. Yeah. And Kofi's won many times. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So it's kind of... And Xavier's the smallest of yeah. the three. So it's kind of just assumed that he's the weakest. Um, the man moves very very well in the ring. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, this time he's unable to pick up the victory. And uh, a lot of nonsense going on in the in, on the outside between Big E and Sheamus and Kofi. When the uh, bar made their entrance, the, the, the camera was focused on them. And all you see is pancakes going flying past them. I was like, is that a pancake? And then you t- they turned to the ring and I think Kofi was wailing them at yep, him. Because like that's that. what they do. Yeah. It's always funny when uh, Big E pulls him out of his trunks. <laughs> I can only imagine how uncomfortable that is. <laughs> Unless he's got like a pancake sack hidden in there or something. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so Xavier Woods goes for an elbow off the top rope. Cesaro gets up. Yeah, he like jumps up, hits him with a European uppercut, completely opens up, I think. Xavier's yeah, I don't know if Larry hit him if it was shoulder or something like that. Well, he opened his mouth. Oh, yeah. He has a hole in his tongue now. That's what really? he said on uh, wow. Twitter, yeah. Because yeah. you, you just saw the blood coming out of yeah, his mouth. Yeah, it was just pouring out of his mouth. Yeah. Um, so hits him with the European Yeah, because that was another thing where you, they showed two different angles, and it looked completely different. Yeah. But what I was talking about earlier is when Charlotte hit the moonsault on Peyton, and uh-huh. she got the knees up. When the camera was close to them, it looked awful. But then when it was the hard camera, it looked like it was supposed to. Oh. So. That makes sense. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, this time Cesaro is in fact able to pick up the win mm-hmm. on Xavier Woods. Yep. Um, Not and, that he's ever really gotten wins with the European uppercut, but it made sense in yeah, this fashion. Yeah, because he was coming off the right. top rope. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was something that drastically changed the momentum. It's true. So. And it actually made sense. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. something that just like that gets thrown right. off yeah. the top of the turnbuckle and then pinned. Yeah. yeah. Um, later on, I think we mentioned this already. They they said that next week there will be a tag team match and mm-hmm. a winner from one of the. The one person from the winning team will be inserted in the men's Money mm-hmm. in the Bank match. Yeah. Between the two teams here. And uh, so. Yep. So I'm guessing Xavier prob- maybe won't be wrestling. Uh, with a hole in his tongue? Probably not. Well, I don't know if it would be that. But that and the fact that he wrestled two, two weeks matches, in a row. Yeah. yeah. And the other two didn't wrestle at all. It's true. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so up next we have Renee's interview on AJ. Yep. Or of AJ. And we got to see that beautiful face of his after with getting nailed at the chair. Oh, cheek. that looked nasty. Yeah. But uh, very lucky there. That could have been a it's lot true. worse. Very close to hitting him in the eye. Uh, yeah. Um, so he says that he's ready to finish Sinsuke whenever, and wherever. That's it. Yep. yep. So. And we, uh, we have, I guess, a... Uh, I don't know what the hell to even call it. A little video of uh, some action figures burnt on display, and I think it was the uh, the New Day first, and then the club, and then the Usos, right? And then, uh, oh, think, it was the Usos hat. I guess. Yeah. yeah. And then I think that was it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we see that, you know, the camera go on to the Bludgeon Brothers, and they basically, I forget what exactly. They said, we they, have toys, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Referring right. to their hammers. Mm-hmm. They're clearly plastic yep. hammers. And they're basically saying, asking for their next challenger because they'll do the same thing to them. If you were paying attention, you could see that um, Rowan was watching Harper to see when he was going to do the oh, thing. Oh, really? <laughs> so he hesitated, and you could tell how light those things were mm-hmm. based off of the, the speed in which he was able oh, to go no, from I didn't really not realize moving. That. That's pretty to, funny, though. Yeah. So it was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess... They're waiting for their next opponents. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where that's going to go. Um, let's see. Up next, we have Becky Lynch versus Mandy Rose. Yeah. And before the match took place, uh, I guess we go to Gorilla, and Sonya and Mandy are about to come out, and Paige comes up to him, and, you know, I guess... Uh, what did she say? Absolution is dead. Yeah. And then, She's like, yeah, yeah, Absolution is dead. You know, yeah. We know. You told mm-hmm. us last week. Right. And then uh, she said, just because we're not together, we, you know, all three of us aren't together, doesn't mean we can be together, can't be together. Yeah. And then Paige says, nope, Sonya's barred from ringside. Yeah. So uh, I don't know what they're going with. 
I don't know, but then it got weird because Mandy had her own music and did this completely I, different... I, I think that was going to happen either way. No, I know, but I mean, it's like, all right, every single time you've come to the ring, you've had somebody at your side. Now we're going to give you new music, a yeah. new type of entrance. And... Well, I would imagine that this is probably her entrance from NXT. Oh, it might have been, she did yeah. house shows and stuff. It's possible. Because she never... I don't think she had many televised matches on NXT, mm -hmm. if she had any. I got gotcha. um, that's probably with the music and everything that they went with. The problem is the fact that she didn't start with this, mm -hmm. go to Absolution, and right, then right. do that. They were just brought right Because now in. it just seems out of the blue. Yeah, it was it was a little odd. Yeah, and then it was so. like a, a blurried uh, vision of her walking everything down. everything was focused on her. Yeah, that very slowly playing with her hair. Yeah. And, it, I think it would have been better if it wasn't such a long walk to the ring. That is also true, yeah. <laughs> but her entrance is exactly the same. She, like, sits on the on the mm -hmm. apron and everything. Yeah. Um, so, surprisingly, Mandy actually wins this match. Yeah. She uh, she rolls up like, Yeah, it Becky. was Becky going for a kick or something like that, and I yeah. guess Mandy... She, like, fell over, and then she, like, laid on top of her. Yeah. So, it was a little surprising. Yeah. Not that... Becky necessarily needs wins or anything. No. But, like, what is the end game here? Because, obviously, yeah. they're doing something with all, the... All your faces Sony. are established talent. Yeah. And all your heels are new pre people, pretty much. Yeah. It's just, uh... Yeah, it's one of those things. It's puzzling. A little bit. Yeah. But, um, hopefully, but yeah. she... Because this wasn't... This had no uh, stipulations on the match, no, 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 so... No, no. This was not for because they they maybe made this next, match last week. Yeah, maybe next week we'll get a rematch. Well, for, actually, next week we'll probably get Becky versus Sonya. Sonya. Yeah, that that would make sense. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, that leads us to our main event. Yeah, um, Daniel Bryan versus Rusev yes. for a uh, spot in the Money in the Bank match. Didn't give this match much time. Yeah, it like started. Yeah. It was almost ten two. Mm -hmm. I don't know if because I mean I think Daniel Bryan and Cass's match at the pay-per-view was the shortest match it's and i'm possible. pretty sure that's probably because of big Cass, um not being the greatest worker well yeah he's uh big and slow. yeah but i didn't know if it had anything to do with daniel bryan if they wanted to cut back his in-ring time or anything like that spent it over an hour at the i know i know yeah yeah and it wasn't i'm roman reigns i'm gonna go on the outside and take a nap for no a half no hour. oh no this he was, was in the match him for in the, the match most, for yeah. a half hour yeah besides the point when braun annihilated everybody outside the ring i yeah. think it was funny too because everyone who was in the ring was outside of the ring even if they didn't get eliminated mm -hmm. so um, but you know that this match got started at like i don't know quarter two ten yeah was, and then we still had a yeah you know, it was seven, the shortest yeah 745 yeah um, followed by the tag team match yeah and then obviously you had another commercial break in there so mm -hmm. they didn't give it too too much time yeah no but um daniel bryan pretty much controlled the the majority of the match. Yeah, I think the the opinion was that he was definitely going to win. Uh, well, at first I started out with like, oh, I don't think they're going to have Daniel Bryan win this. And then I was like, oh, no, he's got to win. And then I was like, mm. Well, the automatic assumption is that he's just going to come in and win everything. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they made such a big deal about his return and everything. Um, <laughs> WWE, you know. It's true. Um, but, yeah, they I think they made the right decision. They end up having... He, he looked like he was going to hit... What was he doing? Like, forget what he was yeah. going for, because uh, he had done a bunch of the drop kicks in the in mm -hmm. the corner and stuff. Yep. But Rusev is able to like hit him, get him with the Machka kick. Yep. I, and I that cannot was remember it. what he was Daniel going. Daniel Bryan for. was going for, yeah. But that just laid him out, and that was yeah. that was it. So, but yeah, it was a good match. It was like you said, short. Yeah, it was a short um, match. Yeah, and a surprising victory. Aiden didn't get involved at all, did nope. he? I didn't think nope. so. I it thought it was clean completely clean. Yeah. Clean, yeah. So, uh, Rusev which is, is fine going on because to Money in the not Bank. like, you know, Rusev is a lower talent. No, didn't. no, no, no. Yeah, no. And I, <laughs> of course, the time that, uh, you know, the fans are cheering for someone other than Rusev, he actually gets the win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, WWE. It's true. Crazy place. Uh-huh. Uh, but, but yeah. Mm, the... Shaping up to be, should be good. Yeah, we got Braun, Balor, Rusev, and, and uh, The Miz. Miz. And then you got Ember and Charlotte for the women's yeah. match. Yep. Um, and uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so I'm sure next week we'll just get more qualifying matches, and then we'll have a couple of multi-man matches, and then that'll lead us right up to the pay-per-view. Yep, 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 yep. But, so, yeah. Yeah, that is pretty much it. Mm -hmm. 
So this has been our WWE Week in Review. If you like what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.